Kayla with Kayla Jordan TV. I'm just back here with another Christmas edition of my baking episodes. What better way to celebrate the Christmas holiday with eggnog flavor? So I made these mini eggnog cheesecakes and they're so cute and they're so yummy. I love it. I got the um, eggnog like special from this place, uh, this ice cream parlor here in Sacramento. Uh, but you can ob like obviously substitute it for any other eggnog that you like. Uh, but I will uh, just get right into it and I hope you guys like it. So the first step in making our eggnog cheesecake is, well our mini eggnog cheesecakes. We have this mini pan here. I like the ones that are more, um, go like they are more like less fluted. So fluted is when they are, they, they go up from there. And I like them more like perfectly round. So I picked this pan out especially at Walmart. And I liked how it just, went straight down and I didn't have much of a flute. So that's what I like about it. I have these mini liners that I'm just gonna line my pan with. You can also get mini liners at Walmart or Target or wherever. All right, and now I have my crust left over from when I did cheesecakes this weekend. I'm being lazy, I didn't wanna remake it. I was like, oh, I'll just use this crust. So I have this here. If you wanna see a tutorial on how to make the crust, uh, I have it in all of my cheesecake recipes pretty much. I have it mostly in my original cheesecake recipe, so I'll link that above um, if you wanna go check out how to make it. But it's super easy. Just the graham cracker crust, melted butter, and sugar. And you just mix it all up. And I'm just gonna put a spoonful in every cup. Alright, so we have our crust all filled. The most important part of the crust is that it looks like this consistency. So as long as it looks like this consistency, we're all good. And the second most important part, probably more important than the consistency, is using something to smash it and compact the crust. We want it to be uh, the same like circumference around to just smash it the crust so it is like a cookie of like how compact it is. Uh, we don't want it to be flaky or anything like that when we put our batter in because then it wouldn't have that same like crunch. It would just kind of taste like sand and I don't like that. So <laughs> why are you laughing? <laughs> so we're just going to compact all these crusts and it could be like obviously anything this kind of size um, that you can put to do this. Just find anything around the house that's like this. I think if you wanna make a, like a cupcake size, I used a tomato paste can. That worked re like really well for that size. So, and just a little secret, I normally use a shot glass for this, but I forgot mine, so. It was like a double shooter shot glass. That's what I usually use, but this had to do for now. It's just like, oh, this will work. But yeah, so now that we're done compacting all of our crust, I am going to move over to my filling. Okay, so this one is just like my original cheesecake recipe, but I am going to add just a few more ingredients. First thing we're gonna do is we're going to cream our cream cheese just until it's nice and soft. All right, so it's nice and soft. I'm gonna go ahead and add my cinnamon and sugar. And then mix that until fluffy. All right, so it's nice and fluffy. I'm just gonna go ahead and add my egg. And vanilla. And give that a mix. 
All right, so I mixed it like three quarters of the way. It has a few lumps still in it, but I am going to add in my eggnog, the secret ingredient. I got this from Gunther's Ice Cream here in Sacramento. It's like the best eggnog here. And if you guys don't have it, then I would suggest probably going to Whole Foods um, in your area. They have pretty good eggnog, the one in the glass bottle. I forget what that's called. I might be able to find a link and link it down below, but I'll definitely link this, um, the, well, their information. I don't think they have a website or anything, but um, yeah, so it's bomb. I'm pretty sure it's made with ice cream. Their ice cream parlor here. So if you're from SAC, you know what it is. Um, but yeah, so I'm just gonna add in. Ooh. Huh. <laughs> I could do it. I could do it. I could do it. I would just use my left hand because my right hand was wet. Oh my god. Okay. See, it's all good. All right. Just gonna add that into my cheesecake mixture. And give that a final mix. Oh! No! Oh, okay. All right, so now I'm just gonna get my pan and we're gonna fill it with the filling. I am going to just scoop this, says one fluid ounce scooper into my cupcake pan. So it's important that you want them to be pretty full because cheesecake doesn't really rise. If anything, it would like sink a little bit more. So uh, it's important that you get it all the way up to the liner so it looks nice and full. Okay, so it looks like we're gonna have just enough. It's perfect for this pan. I have my little handy dandy scraper. So as you could tell in the bowl, there's like no more left. I can't get a full scoop out of it. But if you have this thing, it literally gets like the bowl pretty clean. So it just scrapes down all the batter. So you really have like a lot more batter left in your bowl than like you think you do. Um, now it'll probably give me like four more of these instead when I was just like, oh, I have no more because I can't fill my little scooper anymore. So if you have this, it's like a lifesaver. It gets like every last bit of batter. So it's really important to have one of these. So now I have tons to work with. I just needed two more to fill all these crusts. I could probably do a few more, but I didn't make any more crusts, so this is, it works out perfect. I'm just going to pop these in the oven at 350 degrees for about 15 to 18 minutes. Okay, so these just came out of the oven. I as as soon as I took them out, they were poofy a little bit, but then they are starting to sink. Like I literally just took them out, but like before my eyes, they're like rounded at the top and now they're like slowly starting to sink and create like these grandma looking wrinkles. But it's okay that they have these little wrinkles on top because we are going to let them cool and then top them with some whipped cream. Okay, so I'm back now. And these have been cooling for about an hour. I also stuck them in the fridge too, so they're nice and cold. Um, you can do that before or after, it doesn't really matter. You just wanna make sure that you don't have any like condensation at the top, because that's what you don't want, is it to be like conden condensation before you put the whipped cream on. So um, they have no condensation, they look awesome. So I am just going to take my whipped cream and add just a little bit of eggnog to it. And I can, I will link the whipped cream recipe up above, but you can also use like any whipped cream. I'm just going to pour a little bit of this eggnog inside of here. So I don't want the flavor of the eggnog to be too strong because the cheesecake's are already eggnog and then you have eggnog whipped cream. I just want it to have like, not such a strong, like vanilla taste. To have some kind of spice to it. 
So I'm just gonna, because obviously the tip of it is gonna have regular whipped cream, so I'm just gonna squeeze that out first. Okay, perfect. I have a 10 tip on the tip of this, and I'm just going to put just a baby dollop right in the center. Awesome, and then I'm just gonna sprinkle them all with a little bit of cinnamon. watch my video on how to make the little mini eggnog cheesecakes. I hope you guys like it. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and comment below. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And have a happy holidays. Oh. Okay. 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 Oh, great.